everybody and welcome to Acoustic Worship Service. Every one of you, I want to just welcome you to come and sing along and worship with us. The Bible says that if you boast in anything, let it be in the Lord.
up the name of the Lord as he can take all the glory, Jesus. When I look back at my life, Lord, it can only have been your hand. It can only have been your provision, Lord. It can only have been your healing. It can only have been your grace. Take all the glory, Jesus. Not unto us, but to you be the glory. Not to us, but to you be the glory.
Sajona Mungu kama wewe sema Sajona Mungu kama wewe Sajona Sajona Mungu kama wewe Sajona Mungu kama Sajona Mungu kama wewe Sajona Sajona Mungu kama Hi and welcome to this acoustic worship service. My name is Patrick Kuchio from Christ Easy Answer Ministries. I'll be speaking to us on a subject I've titled Healed, Cleansed and Made Well. Healed, Cleansed and Made Well. 
Now Luke chapter 17 from verse 11 to verse 19 is this very captivating, intriguing account of some 10 lepers who came to Jesus and they encountered the miraculous. It can be said conclusively that of the 10 lepers, only nine, nine were healed and cleansed. But of the one leper, he was healed, he was cleansed, he was made well. These three words carry basically the same meaning, but they are distinct in and of themselves. But I invite you to read with me the text from Luke chapter 17 from verse 11 to verse 19. The Bible says, Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Now, leprosy was a chronic disease. And the doctors tell us that it was caused by a slow multiplying bacillus mycobacterium leprae. That this bacterium multiplied slowly and had an incubation period of about five years. Now this disease affected the skin, uh, the peripheral nerves, the upper respiratory tract, and also one's eyes. Now to suffer leprosy in the days of Jesus meant that you were a social outcast, you were physically handicapped, you were psychologically affected. When you read from the book of Leviticus, chapter 13, this is how lepers were to interact with people in community. Leviticus 13, verse 45 to verse 46. The person with such an infectious disease must wear torn clothes. Let his hair be unkempt. Cover the lower part of his face. Talk about masks and cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as he has the infection, he remains unclean. He must live alone. He must live outside the camp. These ten lepers found solace in their own company. But they realized that whereas leprosy was incurable, there was one man who had a solution to their problem, the man Jesus. They probably had heard that he was about healing those that were sick, opening blind eyes, casting out demons, and cleansing lepers. And they banded together and said, let's look for this man. And when they saw him at a distance, they raised their voices. And Jesus does something very interesting. He tells them, go show yourselves to the priests. I can imagine some of them struggling. We thought that he fixes those that are sick. Why would he be sending us to the priests? But you see, that's what the Levitical order prescribed. And I can imagine them debating. We thought he would touch us. We thought he would say a word to us. We thought he would pray over us. And as this discussion ensued, they agreed to go present themselves to the priests. And the Bible says, while they were going, something miraculous happened. You see, miracles happen to us in obedience to God's instructions. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing God's word, but it's in the obedience of those instructions that we unlock the miraculous. As these 10 were walking, the Bible says they were cleansed. Now one of them, the Bible says, in verse 15, when he saw that he was healed, he returned. That word healed in the Greek word is the word hiatha, hiatha, which simply means to mend or to repair. It's like when a bone has fallen out of place and is mending, the word that would be used, which is actually a medical term, is the word hiatha mended. So when he realized that his skin had been mended, 
when he realized that his skin had been repaired, that something supernatural had happened to his skin, he decided to make his way back to Jesus. You see, God does not just specialize in fixing that which can be seen on the skin. He also specializes under the skin. You see, when this guy went back to Jesus, verse 17, Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Now this is a second Greek word that we encounter. And this is the word katharizo, katharizo. The root word for the English word uh, catheter, which is also a medical term. So when a medic inserts a catheter, it's normally to remove impurities. And it's the same meaning of the word katharizo, to remove impurities. Jesus, when he spoke the word to these ten lepers, while they were walking to present themselves to the priest, the impurities that were causing this leprosy were removed uh, from their bodies. Now, this was a very important word to the Jews because it carried some heavy connotations. You see, to be cleansed was exactly what the priest would be looking out for. And so while they were walking to the priests, they found that the answer had already come their way. Someone has wondered, why is it that the nine people did not return to give Jesus thanks? One can only but speculate. Maybe one of them said, well, any rabbi could have done that. Maybe another one might have argued, I think I was beginning to improve. Another one probably would have said, anyway, we've already gotten away with it. There could have been many reasons why they did not return to Jesus, but we can only but speculate. Of this one leper who returns to Jesus, Jesus says something to him, Rise and go, your faith has made you well. Verse 19. This introduces us to the third Greek word, and it's the word sozo. Sozo. Um, this is a different word from hiatha, and katharizo, which were medical words. This is a word that was used by the, Jew, by the Greeks in reference or to describe the delivery of a baby. When a baby was born safely, they would say, that baby has been sozoed. This word sozo means to save. The Greeks used it, or people who had escaped some dangerous situations. When sailors had escaped some dangerous situations at sea, they would say they have been sozoed. It's interesting that uh, Matthew uses this same word in the gospel when he narrates the Christmas story. And when the angel tells Joseph's parents to name him Jesus because he will save his people from sins, that word save is the same word sozo. Paul uses the same word to describe what would happen to anybody who publicly confesses Christ as Lord and Savior they would be sozoed in Romans chapter 10 from verse 9 to 10, that whoever confesses Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior will be saved, will be sozoed. Now, let me take you back to the beginning. We observe that of the 10 lepers, nine of them were healed. They experienced hiatha. Nine of them were cleansed. They experienced Catharizo, the removal of impurities, but that's where the story ends. But of this one leper, he was healed, he experienced hiatha, he was cleansed, he experienced catharizo, but he was also saved, he experienced sozo. Why is it so? You see, the other nine, when they experienced the healing of their skin and of the removal of the impurities, they disappeared. They forgot about Christ. But this one leper followed intently. He followed the master. You see, it's in following Jesus. It's in following his instructions. It's in following after him that you and I can be saved, not just physically, not just emotionally, not just psychologically, but also spiritually. You see, leprosy, we observed, rendered one a social outcast. It meant you were physically handicapped. It meant you were psychologically affected. 
But there is a leprosy that is worse than the leprosy that you know of. It's a leprosy of sin. And if you and I are not careful, it can separate us eternally from God. But praise be to Jesus because Christ has come to save you and has come to save me. He is the solution not just to the physical leprosy, but to the spiritual leprosy that many are struggling with throughout their lives. I turned to him and I decided to follow him. And let me tell you, he healed me of addictions. He healed me of sin and I've enjoyed freedom because Jesus Christ has healed me. He has cleansed me. He has made me well. He desires to heal you, to cleanse you and to make you well. Will you turn to him? Will you allow him to heal you, to cleanse you and to make you well? That you can celebrate and say, I am now a child of God. I have been restored. I was once lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I can see. That can be your testimony. And if that, if that is your heart's desire, please pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I have sinned against you and fallen short of your glory. I call upon you, Jesus, come and save me. Write my name in your book of life. I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you say that prayer, you have now joined the family of God. You are now a child of God. Welcome to the family of God. You are his special child. Thank you so very much. And I want to invite those of us who are following to please give. We thank you so very much for your sincere support. All your a gracious support towards this ministry. The Lord bless you richly. The details for giving are coming up shortly. God bless you richly. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two options for giving and option one is Mpesa pay bill number 693371 and the account number is offering. Option two, visit our website www.sitem.org and click on the gift tab and follow the instructions.
Yeah. 